Welcome to a short how-to video that'll cover the reasons why to choose each teach mode for the Q5X from Banner Engineering. The most common teach mode for the Q5X is Two-Point Teach. This mode will be able to solve most applications and is generally used when there is a background with an object passing in front. After being taught, the sensor will ignore the background and detect the object. Background suppression is used when you want to detect the target but ignore the background. For this mode, you will only need to teach one point and the switch point will be set just in front of the taught condition. Foreground suppression is best used when you want to keep an object in a constrained area. The sensor sets a window around the top point, then anything in front of or behind the window will be ignored. Dynamic background suppression is recommended for applications where the machine or process cannot be stopped for teaching. Once samples are taught, a switch point will automatically be placed midway between the maximum and minimum sample distances. The sensor will now ignore the background and detect the object. Dual mode is best used for clear object detection or contrast sensing. After teaching a static reference point, this mode looks for a change in distance or intensity to detect the target. The static reference point does not have to be within the sensor's range. That covers the basics of why to choose each teach mode for the Q5X. For a tutorial about each individual teach mode, check out our YouTube channel or visit our website at BannerEngineering.com.